One other thing that it, most people carry around these days um, is a lanyard with keys on it. One small caveat to that, if you want to be out in, a, um, in, in a, ur an urban setting and be able to use these as a self-defense um, assist, go to a yard sale, go to you know a secondhand store or whatever, buy a bunch of old keys that don't belong to you at all and put them on to give your lanyard some weight. You don't want to have your home keys on this and potentially lose them in an altercation. Or even a bunch of uh, dollar store keychains. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there's two types of lanyards. One is preferred over the other. Okay, so you've got the solid lanyard and you've got one with a clasp on it. Okay. So how we hold this when we're using this in a self-defense situation is we loop it and then we grab it. So it's like that. Right, so put the hand through and then just loop it over and then you're swinging you're using this as a again it's blunt force and it's it's just a gravity one and you can go again your, your, your motion is the same it's, it just follows the natural and if this makes contact with any kind of soft tissue a face anything like that it's going to be a problem, right? as opposed to the the classic misconception, at least in my books, people used to be told to, to thread their keys through their knuckles like this and use them as a weapon like that. Yeah, you're likely going to do more uh, damage to your own hand by cutting yourself up with your keys. I mean, it's, it's really only Wolverine that can get away with this kind of shit. For normal human beings, this doesn't work very well at all. There's not enough support behind it to have a firm grip to prevent them from sliding around. That's the concept behind that. That's right. So, just move it over so it's like this and now wrap your hands around. Right. So the weight would be there. Now, this is the less preferred lanyard. I mean, sometimes it just is what it is. But here, just like with the umbrella, there's no release point here. So if I grab, I've still got you and you can't get away and you can pull all you want. All you're going to do is just, if you're trying to pull away, you're just pulling that tighter onto your hand and I've got you, right? So the beauty of this one, there, so hold on tight. Now, as I pull, you're just going to pull your hand away. And now you can run. So here, even if you got it tight, if I pull, Swing it around a little bit. Just watch yourself, because sometimes, the, <laughs> sometimes you get to yourself in the recoil. So just, just, and again, it's this figure eight motion, which is more natural than actually trying to muscle. Right? So it's just, it's just that. Just give it a little try swing it around a little bit. Yeah. So what that does is that gives you some range. I don't want to be anywhere near that. Yeah. Either I have to get right in here where I can, I can stop it to yeah. be effective. But if I'm, if I'm at this range, oh, this is really, really hard. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And all you have to do is just keep swinging. And essentially, the momentum, the weight of the keys themselves is doing most of the work for you, right? Yeah. You can do that all day long. Yeah. So you just keep backing up. I'm yeah. trying to get in close to you. You're just going to swing and you're just going to keep backing up until you can run. Yeah. You can also use that to position them. Yeah. Or do the same thing, right? I don't want to get hit, right? So it's like, yeah. Yeah. True. So they're kind of the same, but you're trying to hit muscle groups, soft tissue groups. You really want to get in here. And the good thing about that is that if you get somebody there, it's likely going to lay them open, which for identification purposes later on, is that that's my attacker. Right? Or you go right. to the cops and say, if somebody comes to a, a hospital room with their cheeks laid open with a bunch of multiple scratches, it's likely for not only that too, but if you just gash them with your keys and you still got your keys, you got their DNA. Yeah. True. That's really, really simple. It's medieval. It's such a medieval weapon, um, and it's really effective. Yeah. And, and for distance and range. And again, this is this is the preferred one that you want, just so that you can 